So for a lot of folks, the T-test is the only test, or maybe they've heard of the Z-test, um, and those are the only tests that they know about for comparing two different groups. And that's unfortunate because there are other ways of comparing multiple groups. And you can Google Scholar search or search for tests like the Wilcoxon test or the Wilcoxon rank sum test or the Man Whitney U test. There's a lot of different names out there for these different types of Wilcoxon tests that are out there for comparing two groups. And the Wilcoxon tests are used when one or both of your groups that you're trying to compare clearly have a non-parametric distribution. And if we were wanting to compare low birth weight among the black folks versus the low birth weights among, you know, different populations against the white folks, you could do the Shapiro test on those and see, you know, the low birth weight levels are 0.97, so that's not too far off of 0.99 for our W value. Um, but, you know, the p-value for larger data sets is always going to probably show a departure from the normal distribution. But if you were to do a Shapiro test on, you know, we can do the one on the, the we'll do the whole nation. We'll just compare the whole nation. And you see it's 0.933. So if you were wanting to compare the low birth weight among the African American population, among the black population, versus the low birth weight for the entire nation for each county, this set is probably pretty strongly different than, than normal. So you may not want to use a t-test, which assumes that the distributions fit the normal distribution. So you could use a Wilcoxon test. Now there's two different Wilcoxon tests. There's one that's kind of like the independent t-test comparing two different groups for what they are entirely. And then there's also more of the paired approach. The one that's for comparing two groups entirely sometimes is called the Mann-Whitney U-test. Um, and in our studio, it's very easy to do. So we will type, if I can get down, and I'll just maybe sweep that. All right, Will Coxon, Will Cox test, it already populates, it even tells you the latter is known as the Mann-Whitney test. And then it's X versus Y. So if we're going to do um, low birth weight for the nation versus LBW black, that's it. And then there's your p-value. It's really small. So it says that the one group is significantly different than the other. Now, you would probably want to compare or look at what the median value is for this versus the median value for that for interpreting what where which way that that difference exists so where the difference is coming from now if you are wanting to compare at the county level is there a, a difference in the disparity between the these two groups at the county level as well um, you might be looking more of a paired test. Again, there are better applications for when you would want to do a paired test, like if you were comparing like methods or repeated measures or something like that. But in this case, we will, we will do this um, to compare differences at the county level. And that is another Wilcoxon test. And just like the T-test, what will we do? Well, we can type in that comma comment and tell it that we want it to be paired. Paired equals, and we say true. And when we do that, now it has redone this test. Again, we still see a statistically significant effect. And um, this test sometimes is not called a Man whitney U test. This test, some people will call it the Wilcoxon signed rank test. Um, both of them are, are um, you know, this is the rank sum test. That one's also known as the Man Whitney U test. This one is the signed rank test. Very similar, um, you know, in terms of the commands. So easy to do with our studio. So I'm gonna stop this here and we'll do maybe a couple more examples in future videos.